Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's another episode of Breath of the Wild. I'm... I'm still... I still can't quite get over the fact that... You know, I finished recording the other day, you know? Just... Wow. I was being an idiot here, I'm pretty sure, but... This is one of the easiest puzzles, like, why am I taking so long? Like, Jesus. Good Christ. <laughs> oh well. Huh. We'll get there eventually. Probably should have sped this up actually, now they think about it. But, oh well. go now you're getting it and past me was kind of a moron Sorry, I'm just, sorry, immediately, you know, lacking commentary, because now I'm just over here like, why am I so slow? This should have been already been done already, you know? <laughs> but, but that's just how it is, you know what I mean? But, also, um, I do got an announcement. Um, I know that I said, like, in a previous video that I was going to do AVP, or Aliens vs. Predator, but, but... Since I was going to do it on PC, and I have an Xbox Series S controller, like a custom one, um, that I made through the design lab, um, and I was using an Xbox 360 controller emulating app that's literally just called, like, X360 or whatever, and you basically just map the buttons to the... Yeah, like, for some reason last night, I spent, like, a good hour trying to make it work. For some reason, it just was like, nope, nope, and I can't figure out why I mean I might need to try and look up some videos but it was like yeah it was giving me a, a slight issues every now and again because and I was like well it's probably just because I'm using a really new controller you know like this is multiple generations so I was like I don't know but it was working just fine and then now and then just all of a sudden nothing was working so I'm gonna, I do, I am committed to doing an AVP, um, recording, but I just don't know when that's gonna be with, you know, with the fact that, you know, just shocked myself, but, you know. So, I might have to delay it a bit, but we'll figure it out. But I still gotta finish the post-commentary, um, of these videos, and, you know, and then upload them, so I got plenty of time. Cause it's not like I'm gonna do post commentary for hours and hours. I need breaks and all that, so yeah.
first shrine down. Um, I was just thinking that, like, I also, um, had similar issues, um, like, well, like, the reason I used the Xbox 360 controller emulator thingy, um, with my Series S controller is obviously because AVP on Steam, for some, at least, at least as far as I know, um, for some reason doesn't use the Steam controller thing, you know, how, like, it has, like, full controller support or whatever. Um, despite, even though you can go to the options and turn gamepad on, but the gamepad is designed exclusively for 360, which makes sense. It came out in 2010, so. So, it just was one of those things where it was, like, it was just, like, it just what won't read my controller correctly if I just do it with the Series S controller by itself. So I need to emulate it to make it think it's a 360, and then it'll work right. Well, sometimes. But I had a similar problem with um, Splinter Cell Conviction, which, like on PC, same thing, except there's no option to turn the gamepad on or off. If it just detects the gamepad, it just is automatically on. But, but it's ridiculous because, like, I really enjoy that game, and, and I... It was like my first Splinter Cell game way, way back in the day. You know, before Blacklist came out and stuff. And I have a lot of fun, nostalgic memories on that game. It was just one of those things where I want to play it on controller. And nope. Like. Just one of those things where. Where like, I got it to work. I don't know. I didn't test it on Conviction. I probably should have tested it on Conviction to see if it's, um. To see if it is a program issue or controller issue or whatever. I didn't test conviction when I was having this issue last night. Since I was... So, I don't know. But... I'm hoping to do a PC conviction let's play because, like... Conviction runs super well in my setup. Like... Really well. I don't think I play it at max settings, I think I play it at medium settings, but even then, it still runs really, really, really good. So I'm hoping I can do that eventually. The only thing that I kinda, that I, that I kinda hate, um, which I completely understand why it's this way, but still a bit annoying from someone who played it on 360 all those years ago and still has the 360 version to this day. Um, which I guess I could just record the 360 version, but I want to record the better version, you know what I mean? I want to record at 1440p, and even it at medium settings probably still looks better than the console version, right? You know, you want to, you want to show the game in its full glory, you know what I mean? So hopefully, hopefully I can find something. Actually, let's do this together, shall we? I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna pull up my phone, and I'm going to look. I'm gonna make sure my audio is down so that way you don't hear needless stuff. But let's let's just take a gander together, shall we? Because like, if obviously if I get th this to work flawlessly and consistently, there's two um, series because there's the only two games that I have that are old enough that give me controller issues with my Series S controller that I really want to record on PC is AVP and Conviction. Um, every other game, I either play on keyboard and mouse, like Knights of the Old Republic, for example, or they're new enough where I literally have no issues and I don't need that program at all. So... So, yeah. <laughs> um, X360... X360 CE. How to play all PC games with any controller or genetic USB gamepad? Well, no, but I'm using Bluetooth. Oh, 
I found videos already. Without errors for PC 2020. Okay. Um. Um. Us. Um. Series. X controller. Huh. Well, hopefully this, um... Ultimately, because I downloaded Anti-Micro to see if that would work better, because I've seen videos of people using Anti-Micro and I couldn't figure that out. It was way too confusing for me. Well, I, gu I guess a lot of things are, you know, if you don't have experience with it. But... <laughs> you know? But if I can figure out how to do this X360 um, app, like, and have it consistently work, I am going to be ridiculously happy that, that one, I don't ever have to mess with it again, first of all, and two, I can play AVP and stream it and, and record Conviction and do all that. Um, the only thing that I'm slightly upset about is that um, Conviction on PC has dedicated servers, and Conviction on 360 anyway didn't. It was all peer-to-peer -peer, as far as I'm aware. Because I tried to actually see if I could find a match because I did get my controller to work on Conviction um, a few days ago or whatever. And I played um, like a few levels and it was really fun. A lot of massive nostalgia trip. But, but I can't play online because the dedicated servers are down which I think kind of sucks but there's probably a way around that I would hope. But you never know. But, but anyway, the thing that I said I, that I hated about Conviction on PC that I could completely get, but still kind of is a bit like, really though? Really? Is the fact that when you have your gamepad working, um, on console, at least on 360, I can't speak for PS3, but I assume it works the same. Um, if you click the right stick to zoom in if you're close enough to someone's head you, you can it'll actually snap to their head provided you're within range of whatever gun you have currently pulled out if it's within range and you're in the crosshairs close enough it'll just snap so if you have like two people right next to each other you can just go click click you know just a total of four clicks first click to zoom second click to shoot third click to zoom to the next guy like literally you can go click 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 and just dead and it's just so nice but you don't have that. Now I actually have to be good at aiming instead of just abusing a feature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So hopefully now that I've actually seen a number of YouTube videos, hopefully I can get it to work and get it work right. And I might start streaming more AVP provided I can well, provided I can, for one, find people to play with, because it is still an old game. It came out in 2010, and we're in 2022, almost 2023 at this point, you know? So, naturally, the servers, even the few dedicated servers that actually happen to be on the on the PC version, because it was all peer-to-peer -peer on console. Um, you know, like, they not overly active. Like, I managed to find a few people, and I friended, like, three or four people, so, so I mean, if you are if you can tolerate smaller lobbies, you could still have a lot of fun. So it's, yeah, you, you know what I mean? Pretty fun. I love the game, so. Test of strength. I th wait, is it? It's either after this shrine or the next shrine. I think I fight a Molduga in the desert. But I think I have it sped up. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, I think in the later videos I didn't speed it up. Which, now that I think about it, I really should because they're incredibly easy to fight and not that eventful, to be honest.
Yeah. I love this game. I actually started streaming this game last night. Um, I... Yeah, um, yeah, but by the time I upload this, it might have been a week prior, I, I don't know. Like, I, I did a, I, j I clicked new game to do a, a, a new game on normal mode, and did the plateau, and spent quite a long time trying to remember how to get the warm doublet, because I've never got it normally where you actually make the, the dish. I always just made dishes where I use spicy peppers to get heat and the, you know with cold resistance and just went to the shrines that I needed to and then got the warm doublet like way later like afterwards actually I think I would forget the warm doublet and buy it in Hitino Village actually but you know <laughs> but I actually did it the right way um the way you would normally do it I assume this time and Made a little bit of progress. I got off the plateau. I did the lake tower. I got the horse gear. Um, got about 10 shrines. I got the... I think more than that. And then I also got the tower and the central Hyrule. So, like, I, I, I did a little bit in about two, two, two and a half hours of gameplay. So, I did a decent amount, I guess you could say. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to try and use Magnesis when it's clearly going too fast. And then I finally realized Stasis, what am I doing? Yep. That's how it be. Yeah, and then this is just easy. You just move the thing, you know, to get the chest in here. If it wasn't for the fact that I was getting it stuck. And then you move it back to, um... To the other one that we saw a little bit ago to open the door to the spirit orb, and there you go. Yeah, this is one of the like easiest shrines, and it's one of those things where I don't know if anyone else has the same issue, where when something is a sur, you know, past a certain level of easiness, and I mean that like it's easier than you would think it should be and your brain just breaks because you're thinking that the solution has to be more complicated than it really is because you overthink. Like, I'm one of those people where for some reason, like, if something is ridiculously easy, it breaks my brain. I know, I, I, that sounds stupid, but that's just, that's just how it is for me. I don't know why. Just... Well, for some things, but for other things, not so much. I don't know, I'm just weird, I guess. I don't know. Dugas are super easy. Yeah, I think the biggest thing that really got me throughout the Master Mode um, playthrough is the fact that the enemies heal. So you need to be very aggressive 
but you also can't be so aggressive that you're forgetting to just stuff like that. That's a perfect example. Got a little too aggressive, didn't back away, and I got one hit killed because I, one, I don't have enough health and I don't have enough armor. And for some reason right here, I didn't realize that using the Skyward Strike uses up energy. For some reason, I don't know why I didn't know that, but... I thought I could just do that forever, but then I saw that and I went, oh, I'm not doing nowhere near as much damage as I was. But you live and you learn, right? And success. Yeah, even in master mode, like, provided you're able to get yourself, like, on a shrine or on a rock or something like that, right? Provided you're able to do that, it's incredibly easy to fight those things even on master mode. Like, that is probably, like, the easiest boss, even, in my opinion, I think probably easier than a stone talos. It's crazy. Yeah, for some reason I, I didn't it didn't click that I needed it get it on the other side until after which I think is oh my god I'm so stupid it's so funny how stupid I am in, in some of these moments I swear oh it's this one this one for some reason I was I was an, an idiot for the longest time I couldn't figure out where I needed to go which is funny but you know For some reason that kept happening, I couldn't figure out why. And then I fell off like a moron, for starters. And then shocked myself. <laughs> oh god, it's really is funny looking back at some of this stuff. It really is. <laughs> and time for shield parries. Didn't go so well. It's really not that hard to do shield parries without the Z-Lock, but it does make it a bit easier being able to adjust your camera um, a bit more, you know, a bit more finely, I guess you could say, for lack of a better way to explain it, than just like this. I mean, I could have fixed that by getting closer, but it didn't matter. Not too terribly much, anyway. Now that I've uh, realized, which I because I don't know why, I, like I, 
I do this sometimes it, it, because, like I said, I, I don't script things, and I know that there's probably times where that's a bit annoying. But it's like, you know, I'm having one of those moments right now where I'm thinking to myself, like, why didn't I lo actually look it up on YouTube? Well, I mean, I know why, because I honestly thought that I wasn't going to find anything, because I I'm sure you guys have experienced it yourselves. Um, you know, where, like, when, you when you're when you trying to look up something, but you know that it's not a big deal and it doesn't matter, you you know, you can find it almost effortlessly, but when it's something that's really important to you, you can never find what you're looking for. Like, I don't know if that's just the me thing, but, <laughs> you know... So, like, I found, so that was probably, like, the big thing for me is that I just assumed I wasn't going to find anything, probably. But now it's like I see a few videos that might help me figure out my problem, hopefully. And I really hope they do, because if, like I said, if I get it to work consistently, I will be one happy camper. Yeah, I probably should have just skipped this, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to show my sheer stupidity because for some reason it didn't click that there's a little that there's a little area that was that was just out of line of sight because I didn't let myself go closer to the spirit orb. And I realized here in a second that I'm a moron because I come up here thinking, where the hell is it? And then here you go. Sorry for the yawn. Noise. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of excited to go watch those videos and fix my issue. I mean, I know I still have a number of videos to um, do post commentary on. Like, not including episode 15, 16, 17, and 18. Um,. And the final episode, which was, um, part 27. So that should be about five videos. Like, I still have to do... What? Hold on, I still gotta do... I'm doing nine right now, I'm recording nine, so I gotta do... So I still gotta do... 10, 11, 12, I gotta do 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, so I gotta, so like what, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 I gotta do? And they're roughly about 30, 30 to 40 minutes each, except for, I think, like, one exception at, like, an hour. So, what, 30 multiplied by 13 would be the bare minimum of time I gotta put in. It's about 300 minutes.
No, 390 minutes because 13 times 30, so 390 minutes. Divide that by 60 to get the hours. That's how many hours of post commentary I gotta do after the after this, not including this video. And that's and that's lowballing it because that's not because I'm not looking at the exact times. Obviously, I'm just giving a rough. So that's the minimum. But it's all good. Who cares? You know, we're here to have fun. Yeah, there should be one more shrine after this and then the video's over, so... Yeah. Barbarian armor, how lovely. Always a pleasure. Barbarian armor, especially later in the game when you get it fully upgraded, is such a nice help. It really is. Oh my lord, it is such a big help. Oh, I didn't realize there was another, okay, well. I had a nice sip of tea just now, it was delicious. Oh. I didn't, I guess I didn't skim this video as good as I thought, because I didn't realize there was this many blessings. Um, but there's one, but the last shrine should be like an actual puzzle-based shrine. So, we're gonna find out. Yeah, this should be it. But this one's really easy as well. Yeah, I'm doing something real quick on my phone, I'm sorry. <laughs> but honestly, I mean, there's... We only got, like, less than two minutes. There's not really much for me to talk about anyway, other than just witnessing my sheer stupidity. <laughs> but I am trying to check on something real quick. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. No, no, I, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, am I right? But again, we were towards the end of the video where there's nothing I could talk about substantially anyway. Um, so, yeah, so I apologize for that last little bit, but 
you know, count, you can count on me to have random inconsistencies with videos. And if that's your bag and you're into that, then there you go. Well, welcome to the shit show. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.